In this experiment, you will be reminded of the principles of spectrophotometry and use absorbance data to determine the KIN value for the indicator methyl red. Indicator solutions are essentially weak acids that have a conjugate acid-base pair that absorb different colors of light. The two forms of the molecule are in an equilibrium that can be pushed towards products or reactants by changing the pH of the solution. This is why indicators are used to show when the pH of the solution has changed. The equilibrium constant, KIN, can be calculated the same way as any other equilibrium constant using the concentrations of the hydronium ion, conjugate base, and conjugate acid. The light absorbed by the molecule is in the visible spectrum, so the concentration of the ions in conjugate acid can be found using spectrophotometry, a technique which you may have encountered last semester. Because the indicator relies on an equilibrium reaction, it is subject to Le Chatelet's principle. As the pH of a solution is increased, it shifts towards the products to form more hydronium. This also increases the concentration of the conjugate base and decreases the ratio of the conjugate acid to the conjugate base. If the ratio becomes low enough, it will cause a color change. If a solution becomes more acidic, meaning there is more hydronium present, the equilibrium shifts in the opposite direction, towards the reactants. This increases the ratio of the conjugate acid to the conjugate base and will cause the solution to change to a different color if the equilibrium shifts far enough. Methyl red exists as a red solution below a pH of 4.4 and as a yellow solution above a pH of 6.2. In between these pHs, the concentrations of conjugate acid and base are mixed the solution will be a shade of orange. The change will occur when the solution reaches the pKIN, which is the negative log of the equilibrium constant of the indicator. By rearranging the KIN expression and taking the log of both sides, we can transform the expression into the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Remember that with logarithms, Division is equal to subtraction of the two terms. Because the pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydronium, and the pKIN is equal to the negative log of KIN, these terms can be substituted into the expression as well. This gives us the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which can be used to relate the pH of the solution to the indicator equilibrium constant and the concentrations of the conjugate acid and base of the indicator. As you may have seen last semester, the property of absorbance can be used to find the concentration of the absorbing molecule in a solution. This is Beer's Law where absorbance of a specific wavelength of radiation is directly proportional to the concentration of a molecule. It is dependent on several variables. First is the absorbance itself. It is related to the number of photons that are absorbed by molecules as light is shone through a sample. Second is the molar absorptivity constant. This will be different for every molecule and relates to the wavelength at which the molecule absorbs the light. Third is the path length. The distance within the solution that the light passes across. This is generally measured in centimeters. Fourth is the concentration of the solution being analyzed in moles per liter. The graph shown is the absorption of the methyl red conjugate acid and base at various wavelengths. The wavelength that has been chosen for this analysis is in the region where both molecules absorb reasonable amounts of light. The total absorbance that you will measure during this experiment will be equal to the sum of the absorbances of the acid and the base form of the indicator. By measuring the absorbance at the extreme pH value shown and using Beer's Law, 
you will be able to solve the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to find the pKIN. Several buffer solutions need to be prepared using very precise volumes. Follow the table in your lab manual to add the correct amount of each solution and use a burette to deliver the correct volume of each solution. The final volume of each solution needs to be exactly 50 milliliters. You and your partner should each be responsible for the addition of one of the solutions to the beaker using two separate burettes. Add 5 milliliters of methyl red solution to each of the buffer solutions you prepared and mix thoroughly. Measure and record the pH of each solution, recording the values in a table in your lab notebook as you go. They should be close to the values shown in the fourth column of the table in your manual, though they don't have to match exactly. It is particularly important that the pH values for solutions 1 and 11 are close to those in your manual. If they aren't, tell your lab instructor. You may need to remake the solution. After you have all the pH values you need, measure the absorbance of each solution at 540 nanometers with a spectrophotometer. Deionized water will be used as the blank for this experiment. Your lab instructor will demonstrate the use of this instrument in the lab, but refer to Appendix 4 in your lab manual in advance before coming to your lab. Excel can be used for several of the calculations used in this lab. Setting up the tables in Excel is covered in detail in your lab manual. Doing the calculations in Excel will make it easier to perform them for the entire data set and will make it easier to then make the graph that is required for the report. Make sure to type the equation in exactly as shown. If you have any trouble making the table, your lab instructor will be able to help. So it may be a good idea to do the graph before you leave the lab to make sure it is done correctly. Once you have your graph, the log expression of the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation should be plotted on the y-axis and the pH should be on the x-axis. At the point where the log expression equals zero, the pH will equal the pKIN. By interpolating the graph or solving the equation of the line, you can obtain this value. This is shown more clearly on the next slide. At the point where the log expression equals zero, pH equals pKIN. You can also calculate the KIN. Compare the values you find from experiment to literature values.